mission and the aim to, as a very long vision actually, to have Armenia to become uh, a hub for the region in art and culture. Uh, I think the ambassador mentioned that we're building on something that is already there because the, the cultural heritage does, that I discovered myself in Armenia in the last six years that Armenia has is, is huge. There are very few countries in the world that can, can say to have that. I come from one of them. And, um, and it's, it's, it's basically there. We just need to build upon, upon this, uh, this existing uh, huge cultural heritage. So the, the idea of, uh, of the Banyal came two years ago when we did this, uh, this test exhibition. And the biggest achievement we had is that we, we realized that the platform, the, the, the infrastructure was not in place. So we have to create this infrastructure. So the, the educational part and the biennial are basically coexisting in order to both of them uh, be helpful to, to one another. What I'm trying to say is that the biennial will serve as a major exhibition to promote Armenia through cultural diplomacy, building bridges, as Carolyn said, and trying to Furthermore, let the world know what is Armenia about and uh, as well focus a lot, will bring a lot of tourists uh, as other biennials have taught us already. And the educational part, which basically will, uh, will help fill these gaps and raise the standards of, of what is present in Armenia. Um, pretty much we, we, we are looking at five to ten years program so it's not something that will change overnight and uh, as Carolyn said all your support is needed I've heard and I know that many of you have been in the last years to Yerevan or Armenia some of you have been missing in the country for many years probably someone has never been so I think that this could be a first opportunity for Armenian from the diaspora to, you know, start to come back. And we all invite you all in September for this first exhibition. And, but as well, as I said, we are, we're looking forward and we would like to cooperate with each and one of you in any way. So we're open to, uh, you know, have a conversation on how we can cooperate not only in Yerevan, but as well, you know, as I said, building bridges with the communities all over the world. We are planning events like this, heading to September in London, in New York, in Paris, because this is happening in Yerevan, but is an international event, because we need to promote Armenia internationally. Um, again, I would like to thank as well Caroline and uh, Nina of Nanyan, which are two of our board members that uh, well, Caroline is here, but Nina traveled to come as well with us for their availability. And uh, I have as well uh, one of our team, our head of exhibitions, uh, Raj, which uh, came from Berlin to be here today. And uh, if you have any questions, please just uh, approach any one of us. We will be happy to, you know, one-on-one -on -one get more in details with what the program is. and. Uh, then I, I've asked gently the, the, the ambassador to share your contact so that we can as well send you a concept note with what the, the foundation is aiming to do. Uh, you can register on our website for keeping a newsletter so we can let you know month by month what is happening. Again, thank you very much and I hope you will enjoy the cultural program that has been put together. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Have you picked up some Armenian, I'm sure? Kitsch kitsch. Kitsch And what made you go to Armenia? Um, it was a previous employer. <laughs> but it was about promoting Armenia. It was a foreign affairs uh, magazine report to promote ah, Armenia ah, internationally. Okay. So it was there. Thank, Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you, Pablo want to add that the Consulate General is going to render its uh, support to this wonderful initiative, wonderful program, and also to galvanize 
support broadly. Thank you. Lucina, the floor is yours. Thank you. Vochina Manzes, Yeli Nerkaner. Now, we can tell us that the Parahira Parak is a very good place to be. We can see that the Parahira is a very good place to be. Who am I? Uh, well, I'm the founder of the Yerevan Biennial Art Foundation, which uh, is a new foundation which is involved in education, art and culture in Armenia. We will uh, inaugurate the first Yerevan Biennial of Contemporary Art in September 2020. And the other main objective of the foundation is to try to create and uh, elevate the standards of the educational system, formal and uh, vocational in Armenia in the field of art and culture. Were you satisfied today, the people you met here? Absolutely. Absolutely. And I want to take this opportunity to thank again the, the ambassador by Bursian because it was really difficult. It was my first experience working with LA from Yerevan. Not easy, you know, 8 o'clock in the morning, 8 in the night, midnight, 12, so it was good. And he was uh, super helpful with a very short notice. And uh, we had a great turnover. I mean, a lot of people came on a Saturday, so we're very happy. Well, uh, was this first uh, introduction? Or your... uh, we, we did a very small introduction in uh, November. The foundation was not incorporated yet, but we opened an art space in Bahagni and it's a, it's a non-profit art space which is thought to be the hub of our educational programs and is thought to have uh, three floors of a hotel room where all the educational programs we're running we want to have 30 percent of the students involved from the regions so the vision is to have students coming staying in the hotel experts international experts and local experts coming staying in the hotel and then you know working studying in the art space great thank you and welcome to los angeles thank you very much that's my first time in los angeles so i'm very happy to be here armenian national musical instrument the horn albert ordinian Ambassador. He is not a consular. I was told by Andy Armenian the reason you have ambassador because you were ambassador in India, correct? Not only in India ambassador, I also was 
deputy foreign minister with ambassadorial rank twice and chief negotiator with the European Union, but also I have the rank of ambassador extraordinary plenipotentiary. India plus the rank of ambassador that I have. You have so much. So well, for, first, thank you for inviting us here. This was great. And you're an amazing guy. You're just everywhere. One day you're in Phoenix, and next day you're in Fresno. And how do you manage this thing? Thank you very much, and thank you for coming and covering today's event. So my team is very dynamic team at the Consulate General. So we have very many tasks, very many goals, and uh, we step by step implement what we planned. Thank you. It was. Is this his first time in in U.S. Right, this event. Uh, I, yeah. If you talk about BNL, yeah. yes. So, uh, BNL uh, going is going to take place in Armenia in September, October, November, December. But the interesting and the exciting part that the announcement of the BNL takes place today at in Los Angeles at the Consulate General of Armenia, and it's really a big deal. So it's a, it's a fantastic event, so unprecedented, I will tell you. This is completely new type of uh, series of series of events, and um, I think uh, it's going to put Armenia on the map as far as promotion of its culture, art, and education is concerned. And. Uh, we as nation having this wonderful culture, we all realize that there is a need to expose this culture, to share it with the entire world. And this event is gonna be the one aimed at that. Well, I say congratulations. You did a great job. Lots of people here and everybody was happy, excited to be here. I think you should have even more. This place is so big, you could put a couple of hundred people here. You know. The season is opening up, so we will be having one event after another here Great. in this very place. Great, and thank you for inviting us. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Now, Gevorkian Dance Academy. The lady Aman, solo dancer and choreographer, Sona Gevorkian. Hello, my name is Sona Givorkin. I'm the artistic director with, uh, of the Givorkin Dance Academy. It was an honor to perform here tonight. It's a beautiful event. Thank you for having us. So is this is uh, almost the first time they do this event in Los Angeles. It is, and um, it, was, it, it was great to get the call to be here, and we are proud to always introduce the Armenian culture to the others. 
Born here or you born here? I was born in Armenia. I was born in Armenia, but I was born in Armenia. You're happy for today's event? Very happy for today's event. <laughs> Thank you for your great job. So tell us first who you are. My name is Caroline Tufankian. How did you get into this uh, Benelli's uh, project? Uh, so Fabio Lenzi, who is the director and owner, or um, he, the founder of the Biennale and the Art Foundation, he asked me to be on the board. And I was really excited to be on the board because I think it's a great opportunity for in a lot of different ways, I mean, for Armenia, artistically, culturally, economically, for tourism, for a lot of different things. Do you travel to Armenia quite a bit? Every two or three years, yes. Yeah. So what do you do for your real world? I am the uh, owner and director of Tufankian Fine Arts, so I'm very much in the arts. So Tufankian, which they have uh, hotels and stuff in Yerevan, is that the same thing? My husband's cousin. Your husband's cousin? Yes. Okay. But you guys are well known uh, doing all this stuff. Helping Armenia. Helping Armenia is, I think, very near and dear to our hearts, and uh, the arts are definitely very near and dear to my heart. How do you think today this event went? Beautiful. I think this was our first event. Well, this was our first event here, and I think it went very well. And the plan is to have more events like this and just to get the word out and uh, let people know about the Biennale, about the uh, educational aspect of it and um, the foundation in general. And we're also going to have events in London, in Paris, in New York, so you know, we want to be globally, we want to get the word out. Where is this idea as Armenians always come out with those like co-op, uh, Tumos, uh, American University of Armenia, you know, it's amazing. Like, I go to those and travel and meet those people, you know. How could be the Armenian or such a creative people, yet we are all over the world and our country is so-called poor, you know, how could that be? Well, I think we've got a very um, rich culture. We've got a huge diaspora, very strong diaspora, and everyone is willing to help. But in this case, actually, the uh, founder is Fabio Lenzi, who is an Italian. So very excited to have you know um, non-Armenian um, particip person or participation, someone who is interested in doing something at such a uh, high level and such a big. Uh, project in Armenia. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Your uh, speech was great, and uh, thank you for your helping Armenian cause. Absolutely. Appreciate. Thank you. thank you. Good evening, everyone.
որպեսի շատ ակտիվ միջոցառումներ երկար տեղական ժամանակ կազմակերպեն Հայաստանում ոչ միայն Երևանում այլ նաև շրջաններում եւ որպեսի սրա մասին տեղեկանան նաև սփյուրքում տեղեկանը հայությունը հայության միջոցով տեղեկանան օտարները այլ երկրների բիենալեները ուղարկեն իրենց միջնորդները այնտեղ եւ այսպիսով աշխարհը ավելի սկսի ճանաչել Հայաստանը մեր մշակույթի մեր կրթության մեր արվեստի շնորհիվ որովհետեւ առաջին բանը որով մեր երկիրը պիտի ճանաչեն մարդիկ աշխարհը այսօր դրա կարիքը կամ մշակույթ է կրթությունը արվեստնեն գերականությունը ինչու ոչ նաև չգիտեմ բայց պարագային որքանով բայց ով կլնայք դուք ես արուսյակ գևորկյան ARTN հերոստային կերության խմբագիր լրագրող Are you a journalist? Ai, yo yes, journalist am. So, uh, I saw va rats kohets kohmenatsir tun Այո հարկես անդամերը սկիզբ նե ես հասկացա որ նույնիսկ Երևանում դեռ չի հայտարարվել այս մասին հետաքրքիր է որ իտալացի երիտասարդը որով 6 տարի է արդեն ապրում է Հայաստանում եւ նախաձեռնել է այս գործը որոշել է որ առաջին հերթին Լոս Անջելեսում այս մասին խոսվի եւ ակնկալիքները թերևս հայ համայնքի միջոցով ամերիկահայությանը տեղեկացնել նե որպեսի նրանք Thank you very much. That's your
So when, wherever I go, those ANC people are there. So I don't know how good and bad they are. I was in Greek, I went to see them, ANC was there. You come here, ANC is here. How come you guys everywhere? <laughs> you know, you cannot get rid of us, Wally. Um, we have to be everywhere. We have to defend our people's rights, but we also have to be there just to see what people think, what's happening in our community, in the homeland, just so that we can best represent our cause, our issues to the outside audiences as well. Aram Amparian one time told me the sun, uh, the sun never set in Armenia or something like that. The sun never sets on the Armenian uh, Right. Yes. You know, so it's, that's what I'm so, so happy to see you guys everywhere. So what do you think about this event? I think it's a wonderful initiative. The more we can get the word out about Hayastan, about Armenia, about Artsakh, about attracting um, international visitors, tourists to the homeland, as well as diaspora and Armenians, many that especially haven't been to the homeland, just to go and experience it and experience it through the culture. I think it's really wonderful. Uh, we have a very rich culture, very rich heritage that we can share with the world and we, I think we should do more of it. And this is just one of those steps into doing that. And it's particularly uh, heartening to see an Italian um, and they do, know how to do this now. They do know how to do it. They are one of, you know, it's interesting that the Italian from Naples is living in Yerevan because Yerevan is uh, about 30 years older than Rome. So I guess I guess they are trying to go for um, older cities to reside. All right. Well, Armin, nice to see you again. Always a pleasure. Walter. Thank you. <laughs>